Okay, so now we're going to go over this DM160 charge controllers. Uh, this is a solar charge controller. Let me show you what's in the box. We have the charge controller itself. It comes with the user manuals for further instructions if you need any more guidance. Uh, yeah, so apart from that, the charge controller itself has a heatsink attached to it back and also screws so you can mount it to the wall flush. Uh, you'll see that there's also already attached leads to it, which are for the solar panel. Uh, yeah, for the solar panel, the battery, and also the LED or any sort of load that you want, want, want to attach to it. There's also uh, lights here that indicate the solar panel, LED, and battery. Um, you, you can also see that there's a wireless connection uh, signal over there, uh, sign over there, that which means that you can pair the CU AL2 uh, with this. Now the CU AL2 you can use to control the charge controller. You can also use it to read the reading from this uh, temperature sensor over here. And so, yeah, this is the CU AL2. It looks like the CU AL05. It's just this one works better with the DM160. And also note that there's a couple configurations for the max load power in the DM160, which include 160 watt, 24 volts, and 80 watts, uh, 12 volts. You can find them both in both these configurations on our website. So yes, this is basically the DM160 solar charge controller and the CU AL05.